Welcome to episode 5 of series 2 of Dalek Bump's Question Time. Gunmaster X1164 asks, Do you think we should see more episodes of the Daleks winning against the Doctor? Have some episodes where the Doctor loses against the Daleks and show the consequences of this? I do think that we should see more examples of the Daleks winning and doing what they do best, conquering and destroying. But this could possibly be better suited to appear in a Dalek-related spin-off series, in which the Doctor isn't around to save the day. The greatest weakness of the Daleks as a narrative element in Doctor Who is that, as the villains, they need to be defeated at the end. Giving the Daleks room to shine in their own show, removing the necessity for their entire fleet to be blown up at the end, would definitely help to lend some credibility to them. This is one of the reasons why I want to see a TV show set during the early months of the Dalek invasion of Earth in the 22nd century, as there really is only one inevitable outcome for our human protagonist. The drama would come from seeing how far they could get before the Daleks locate and destroy them. In terms of seeing the fallout of the Doctor being defeated by the Daleks, I think that's a really interesting idea for a series arc, or perhaps even the arc of an entire Doctor incarnation's run. Similar to how the consequences of the Doctor's actions in the long game feed into the parting of the ways, have the Doctor fail to defeat the Daleks early on and show how this impacts the rest of the series, both in terms of the Doctor's characterization and the ongoing Dalek story when they need to show up. Old Hammer 824 asks, How much of the universe have the Daleks actually conquered? Are they slowly taking it over bit by bit or are they just making big plans to destroy everything at once? This is one of those questions that doesn't actually have an answer. Unlike most other sci-fi universes, Doctor Who as a show isn't really interested in the day-to-day goings-on of the universe outside the adventure that is taking place in any given episode. There have been some exceptions, like the Shadow Proclamation in the Russell T. Davis era, and the vague references to organisations like the Space Security Service from Classic Who, but generally speaking, we don't really get to learn much about what's going on with humanity in the far future. We only get snippets from the episodes that are set in that time period. We know that the Daleks were waging constant wars with other species, including humans, during in Classic Who, but the exact details differ from episode to episode, not least because many of these stories are separated by hundreds if not thousands of years. The Daleks conquer Earth in the 22nd century, but are then pushed back when humanity begins to establish its own empire, and this is largely because the Daleks were focused on fighting other races like the Mavellans. By the 47th century, the Daleks and humanity had fought several galactic wars, but by the 51st century, according to New Who, the Daleks disappeared from the universe to go fight the Time War. Following the Time War, the Daleks returned to the universe, but since then we haven't really had an update on the status of their actual invasion plans, aside from a handful of lines from Into the Daleks suggesting that the Daleks are crushing human defenses across the galaxy. Hopefully we'll hear more about their conquest in a future story, but the combination of their fractured timeline, the huge span of time between the 22nd century and the year 200-100, and their ability to time travel makes it very difficult to track Dalek history outside of the fixed points we see in their TV stories and audios. Tyler195 asks, what is your general personal opinion on the Paradigm Daleks? Personally, I really like the Paradigm. I know that might be a bit of a surprise to those who have seen my videos on the Paradigm. After all, I've explained in detail why they don't work in the past. But I genuinely think that the majority of the shortcomings of the Paradigm happened because of how they were presented, not because of the designs themselves. I think that had they been given more to do in the stories they were in, and if the sets that were used for them actually complemented their design instead of making it stick out like a sore thumb, then the Paradigm could have been much better received by the fan base as a whole, and maybe even stuck around. The updated metallic look for them in Asylum of the Daleks with a reduced hunchback is a great look for them, and it's a shame that they weren't used again after this. Dalek Satin asks, If you were to bring back any one thing from the original comics, an enemy, a Dalek design, a character, etc. into the show, what would it be? This is a tough one, as I'd love to see characters like Dalek Zeg and the Dalek Prime show up in the TV series. I'm also tempted to say the humanized Daleks, but they are technically from the evil of the Daleks, not the comics. So I'm going to go ahead and say Absalom Dark is my choice to return to the TV series. He's a character that is very much of his era, that era being 90s comics, but I think that would make it all the more fun to have him show up in the TV series in some capacity, in homage to those comics. It would also be nice to see the Dalek Prime and the Black Dalek Leader again, but perhaps all of these characters will show up in a future Doctor Who comic, who knows? And that wraps up this week's episode of Dalek Bump's Question Time. Leave your answers to these questions in the comments below. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to Dalek Bumps.